I'm here today with uh, Phil Liggett, the voice of cycling. Now, Phil, you had a bit of a, a jump start to get to Australia this year. Yes, I got my 22-hour clock wrong, 24-hour clock wrong. I, I thought 10 to 11 was 10 to 11 at night. The plane went at 10 to 11 in the morning. Oh, so at what stage did you realise that you'd miss your flight? Uh, well, it was 40 minutes before it took off, but I was still at home, so that was the end of that one. So uh, oh, I got 24 hours more in London, which is unusual. It's unusual for a European to mix up the 24-hour clock. That's really the, the plight of the Australian, I think. We're, we don't have 24-hour clock really over here. I know. The problem was I do a lot of work for United States TV, and they always uh, send the, their schedules in 12-hour uh, clocks. And I forgot I was going to Australia. Okay. Well, fair enough. Now, this year you've brought your wife over. Yes, yeah, so I've got to be good this year. Um, this is the first time ever, is it? No, no. She was last here, though, uh, 10 years ago. And... Um, She's never been to Williamstown, so every day is a little bit of a, an exciting occasion. Oh, and what does she like to do while the racing's on? Is she here at the moment watching the racing? She is. She just um, renewed acquainted with Henk Vogels, actually, because Henk was, um, was on the national team for Australia when she was the team masseuse. Oh. She started out working for the Aussies, although she's a Brit, of course, and, um, and she almost didn't recognise Henk. They haven't met for, I think, 12, 15 years. He hasn't put on that much weight, has he? No, and he hasn't changed much either, but she wasn't expecting to see Henk here. She thought he was in America. And um, does she like to get on the bike like you? In the, you? You still do your training, don't you? Yes. In fact, Colin Argo have lent us a couple of really nice bikes. I've just been to collect them, oh. and she's putting them in the car because I can't get oil on my hands when I'm working. <laughs> and uh, tomorrow morning, bright and early, we shall go for a ride out of Geelong, yeah. Oh, that, will you be doing Amy's ride this weekend? Absolutely. I did it last year. We'll do it this year. And um, it's a very friendly occasion. And we get a lot of riders. It's, it's, it's all for a great cause. A sad one at that, but yeah. Oh, that's terrific. And how many Ks do you end up clocking up a week? Well, I just finished, obviously, 2007. And I did um, 4,100 for a year. I mean, these guys will do that in a month. No, but that's pretty impressive, though. Yeah. The flies haven't changed here, have they? <laughs> No, we've got a drought at the moment, Phil. That makes them even worse. If it's not the flies, it's the mosquitoes. Now, for, at the Tour de France, do you actually get out on your bike? No, the Tour de France is the one race uh, I've, done, I've done it for 35 years, and I've never ridden a bike in France on the Tour since uh, I rode with Barry Hoban in 1975. And uh, that's a long time ago. And it's just not, it's just the time constraint, is it? And the, the logistics of moving around? Yeah, we, in fact, it, we're so busy on the tour these days, we work a day ahead. I actually don't speak to a rider on the Tour de France from uh, the start to the finish in Paris. Robin McEwen always jokes with me, and that's why I've been on the whole tour, because I never see him until Paris. Uh, it's because as the riders cross the finishing line, an hour later, we're in the car driving to the next finishing line, and so it goes on for three weeks. It has to be that way now. The tour is so busy now, uh, one man can't cover it like we used to in the old days. Well, Phil, I think that might be enough of your voice now because I'm sure all of us Australians have been listening to Phil having bought the 2007 highlight package for Christmas or been given it as a New Year present. So we're all listening to you every single day of the year. So I think we'll let them get, have a rest from you until uh, the tour in July. Oh, gosh, so you're not going to listen to the Bay Classics? Oh, yes, I'll be listening oh. to that too. <laughs> we, can't, we can't overdose on you, but I don't think we'd ever get sick of you, would we, Australia? Lovely to speak to you, Phil, and have a great Australia time. No, I'm looking forward to the next month. Uh, you know, the tour down under the Nationals, we'll have a good time. Oh, it will be a good one. Thanks very much.